Assalamu alaikum, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Uh, guys, I'm going to solve the third question of section one in AP Calculus, uh, past paper 2018, right? The question is, uh, question three, right? The question is limit, okay? And x tends to minus seven minus 7 x plus 7 mod of x plus 7 right and this is what this is equal to there are four options a the option is minus 1 the option is minus 1 b 0 c is 1 and d does not exist is non-existence non-existence okay we are going to solve this question right okay limit the question is limit okay x tends to minus 7 x plus 7 divided by x plus 7 okay before solving this question I'm going to tell you some concept of modulus function I mean absolute function right uh, in absolute function for example if I say if you have mod of x right this is absolute function or modulus function so whenever you have absolute function it has two function absolute has always two functions the first one you just write down x okay and the second one is minus x absolute always give you the positive value the range is always the positive value right so if you see any positive values of x or you can say if you see any any absolute value this can be written as what this one x and the opposite of this one now we can say that the mod of x is equal to this one or this one so my question is when we can say that the mod x is equal to x when we can say that mod of x is equal to minus x okay there is a condition so if x this x is zero or greater than zero right if x is zero or greater than zero means if you have zero or all positive number we will say we will say that we will take this is equal to x we will take the positive value and if x is what less than zero if x is less than zero then we can say mod of x is equal to minus x okay so as you can see the graph right very simple so if you are here okay if you are here right or you are here this side means zero or greater than zero this side okay this is equal to what x and x is always a straight line right and if you have if you are here means x is less than zero and we can say this is equal to minus x so you can say this is minus x so this is the graph of what absolute function right so here we solve this question the same things right here we have mod of x plus seven right so if you have using this concept we are going to solve mod of x plus seven right so if you have mod of x plus seven so this can be written as what x plus seven or we can say a minus x plus 7 we have just two things the one this one is equal to the same things or we can say opposite in nature right so now when we will take this one if x plus 7 is greater than equal to what 0 or you can just solve this inequality you can say x is uh, plus 7 shifted on the right side so this is what minus 7 so if this value is minus 7 or greater than minus 7 which number is greater than minus 7 like minus 6 minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay if you have this one then you can say this is equal to this one or if you say x plus 7 is less than 0 or you can say x is what less than minus 7 then we can say mod of x plus 7 is minus x plus 7 very simple okay using this concept we will solve this question okay so the question here here this x tends toward minus 7 limit always tends to limit never take the exact value remember this thing in your mind 
So here we will take a value which is very close to minus 7. This means x tends to minus 7, means the value which are very, very close to minus 7, not exact minus 7. So now we are going to solve this question. So this is the limit. Okay. Here the number is what? x tends to minus 7. So we have two things. Okay, from minus 7, we will see this graph here. Right? Okay. And you can see the graph because this is very important question, right? So, as you can see here, uh, this is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7. And here, what? Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Or we can say we have uh, minus 6. You can say minus 7, right? Okay, so here minus 7, so we have minus 7 here, right? Okay, here means this is minus 7. Okay, so if this is minus 7, okay, so one thing is what? <coughs> okay, so I'm going to take there, this is x plus 7, so I'm not going to write down this is x plus 7, copy and paste, but this is what x plus 7, right? This is x plus 7 in mod, so we have two things x plus 7, this one or this one. So again, we can say this is minus 7. X tends to minus 7 means we are going to take, uh, it has two cases, minus 7 positive means on the right side. Minus 7, this side. And minus 7 negative means this side, right? So whenever I say this is minus 7, so this, this can say this point is minus 7 positive, And this is what? Minus 7 negative, right? Okay. So see one thing. Minus 7 positive. So minus 7 positive is this side, right? So the value which is greater than minus 7. So greater than minus 7, it means we are going to take x plus 7 in place of mod of x plus 7, right? So remember one thing, whenever we say minus 7 positive, minus 7 positive means we are between minus 7 to minus 6, right? We are here, right? So at this, at, means at that time, we are not going to take mod of x plus 7. We will take this part, okay, x plus 7. And this one, this one cancel now. The answer is what? 1. So we can say at this time, if this is what? Plus 1. And this is what? Minus 1. For example, we can say the graph is here, right? Okay? The answer is here. And each and every time, this is 1, right? Not here. Just click here. <coughs> this is 1, okay? So whenever you are going to take uh, any number on the right side of minus 7, the answer is every time, the answer is what? Plus 1, right? Okay? And if you are going to take this number here, uh, limit, limit x tends to minus 7 negative portion, right? This x tends to minus 7 means x, x tends to minus 7 positive side, x tends to minus 7 negative side, okay? So this is what x plus 7, copy and paste. But here minus 7 means we are going to take this side, this one, right? So here we will take what? Minus x plus 7. So you have minus x plus 7 and this one, this one cancel. You have bought minus 1. So we can say if you are if you are this side, like minus 8, minus 9, minus 9, uh, minus 10, the graph is always like this one, okay? <laughs> like this one, you can say, okay? So we can say uh, here is plus 1, here is minus 1. So limit does not exist. So the answer is limit does not exist. So the answer D is correct, right? Listen guys, in limit if right side LHL and L -L -L -L, means RHL and LHL both are the same thing, right? So right side and left side, if these are equal, then we can say limit exists at that point. If right side and left side are not equal, then limit does not exist. So as you can say, at minus 7, on the right side, the answer is always 1. And before minus 7 is less than minus 7, the answer is always what? Uh, minus 1, okay? So we can say the right side plus 1, left side minus 1. Uh, the limit does not exist, so answer D is correct. I hope guys you all understand. Still you have a problem, write down the comment. Whenever we have a time, we will discuss it with you. Okay, assalamu alaikum.